up, sir? How you doing today? How's everything? It's great. Man. Now, you, now, you now, rapping now. Yeah, say it ain't so, man. They say you gave up the NBA ah, for rap. Oh, man, I knew you was going to start. Yeah, yeah, well. So, Boopy Gibson was at the Breakfast Club claiming that he left his NBA career to become a rapper. The reason I'm making this video is because I feel like this is BS. He says he no longer felt the same about basketball. But let's be honest, his career was, was really shaky. He averaged about 20 minutes a game, about like five points per game. So it's not like NBA teams were jumping out the window for him. And he says he, and he says he has passion for rap. And I understand that, you know, you might really love rap, but let's be honest. No one is going to leave a really successful career to become a rapper. That shit sounds ridiculous. And think about it. Becoming an NBA player is something that's really difficult. You have to dedicate a lot of time to basketball, a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication. And and, you, and honestly, you really got to love basketball to become an NBA player because that shit is not easy. And, you, and you're going to leave this for rap? So you're going to put all that hard work you put into basketball and you're just going to leave it. You, you're going to work fucking hard <laughs> to become a basketball player and you're just going to leave it. Now, what I think happened is that, you know, his contract with the Cavs was over and there weren't many teams interested in him. I'll say any at all. And, you know, no offense to the guy, you know, I don't really, I don't dislike the guy, you know, but he wasn't a good NBA player. So I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't a team interested in him. He's about 29 years old. And, you know, let's be honest, he's not a good NBA player. So as, a, as an owner, as an NBA owner, I wouldn't really invest my money into him because <laughs> you're not going to get anything out of it. But, you know, I would rather invest my money in someone who's younger and has a better opportunity to become a better NBA player. Not in, and not in someone who has been in the league for six years and has pretty much sucked. And he also got injured. So, you know, let's be honest, it's not like, you know, many teams were interested in him. So, you know, it's not like he's really leaving the NBA, but it's more, it's, you know, it's more of like the NBA is leaving him. But, you know, as a rapper, you can't really just come out and say, you know, that the NBA, you know, that his NBA career is over. He kind of has to say that, um, you know, that he that he has a passion for music, you know, just to save face, just uh, just so he doesn't ruin his perception. Um, I just had to really come to the conclusion it was a tough one it took me years you couldn't well, reach your full potential you could tell that you weren't playing as great as you did yeah, before because of your injuries and then i feel like some you weren't playing good then you got injured yeah that doesn't sound good for storytelling you know what i'm saying that's ju that's just what it is like it's not about the money if i if i wanted to go out there like you said limp for a million i could you know team still contact my agent like, does he want to play? Does he want to get out here? But last time you played was in 2013. I highly doubt teams are still contacting your agents.